Welcome in all my friends, Lazy Retired Granny here. Today is Tuesday, April 16th, 2024. The time is 7.03 a.m. here in cloudy, but sun trying to peek out Salem, Oregon. I am continuing my journey on Diamond Art Club's Anticipation of the Day Ahead by Chuck Penson. And I am currently working this top portion and working my way over that way. This is square drills. It's a 36.6 inches by 27.6 inches or 93 by 70 centimeters. It has 59 colors that include four ABs. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which are drills with a special effect coated on them, and they're great for creating extra shimmering effects on the diamond painting. So good morning. I've got great news I want to tell you, but first, I do have my coffee beside me, and it's in my m, &M mug. And the back of the mug says, trust me, I'm sweeter than I look. <laughs> and it has um, hazelnut creamer in it. And underneath the wax lamp, I am continuing on the same wax melt that I got from Rebecca which is the Fall Brawl. Now, talking of which, someone asked me to show off my candle warmer thing, and I'm gonna try to do that without spilling the wax. Here it comes. All right, now I got this off of Amazon. There we go. And it's just a cheapie. And let's see. Let me see if I can get the camera down here without shutting it off. I'm bringing it down, I'm bringing it down. See if I can show you what it looks like. So what I do with my waxes, I've got this container, which is for a wax melt. Down here, you would put um, one of those little tea candles and you light it and it, it melts the wax up here. But I'm using it underneath the lamp instead of using that and then that way it's the correct height okay now bring it back a little bit and this is the, the light is underneath here and the top looks like that all right now, let's see if I can put the camera back. I'm going to put you on hold for just a second. Okay, made it back. So, mine has this controller and you turn it around and you can make the light stronger or dimmer and then or shut it off so right now i have this kind of on dim and i'm really sorry it's not showing but anyway that was mine and i believe uh, I can't even tell you what the price was because I cannot remember what I paid for it, but it was inexpensive. It works fine. Now, 
one thing about these is that if you don't use the wax and you want to use one of these, okay, a regular candle, all you do is I would just set this right Boy, I'm not doing this very good. Let me, if I do it this way. Yeah, you just set this right underneath here and it, it'll melt the wax on top. And as it, as it melts that wax on top, what you'll do is when you can't smell it anymore, then you just pour that wax off and go to the next layer on the candle. And I'm probably not explaining that, but if you go on to YouTube, <laughs> people demonstrate it really nice. That's how I figured out how to, how to use this. But if you um, go to YouTube and just put in, I'm trying to put this back without spilling. Okay, one moment, please. I gotta turn this around. There we go. Um, yeah, if you just like Google, whoops, now I dropped something. Um, warming light or candle wax lights or, you know, something like that. Um, yeah, it'll come up and, um, it'll show you how to do it. So... And now the sun's in my eyes, so just one minute while I shut the drapes. I don't want to be blinded by the sun coming through. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> so, there's that. All right, now, whew, the second thing we need to talk about is emails that I've received, and I apologize. Yesterday, let me tell you, my mind was gone um, because I was worried so much about Ellie and her bed visit, which we'll talk about in a minute. And, uh, yeah, I just wasn't thinking straight yesterday morning. So, let's get to our emails. All right. So, all right. I think, all right. Teresa, she says, another finish. Yay. <laughs> I finished it and had it framed by 11 p.m., last night, which would have been April 13th. So, let's see. There we go. So, let's take a, this is beautiful too. Look at that, let me, where's my, I think, light is coming from my overhead light all right there we go isn't that gorgeous that is my kind of canvas i love those kinds of houses that came out magnificent where did you buy that at because i really like it and what's the size? And is that square drills? Uh, <laughs> give me the info. 
Yeah, I like that. Thank you so, so much for sharing that. Okay, so let's see what else we got in the mailbox. And I got to respond to you too. I thought there was... Let's see, Teresa... I could have sworn there was another one on here and for some reason uh, let me bring up my mail on my computer maybe I'm just making that up but all right let's see what we got in here I guess not. I guess, I guess that was it. I don't think I've accidentally trashed anything. Let me just double check. Nope. I don't see anything. I could have sworn there was something else in there. Well, if you sent me an email and I didn't mention you today, send it again because I'm not seeing it in here. It's not in my trash bin. Oh, let's see, let's look in spam. Nothing in spam. Let's look all mail. If there's anything in there that I missed. Nope. But it's gone, whatever it was, it's gone. Okay. So, yeah, so keep sending me emails with pictures, updates. I know that other friends on here have mentioned that they enjoy seeing, you know, finishes from people. So, yeah. All right, so let's get, oh, another thing I want to say. Rebecca that sent me the gift package, she sent this shaker of salt and here it is and I looked this up because I wasn't really for sure what this was I guess um, but it's an Etsy shop that I guess is no longer an Etsy shop um, but I thought you know what I'm gonna give this a whirl and this is like clay now, I have never used this type before, but I thought, you know what? I am going to check it out. Now, what I found out on this, it took me a little practice to do this, but this kind of stretches like gum. Can you see that? And so I just took a little hunk off of there and I put it in the tip of my... Pen. I like it. Thank you, Rebecca. So yeah, I tried something new and we all know this is my year of doing new things. Shaking it up and kind of thinking outside my box. So yeah, so I, yeah, I'm really liking this. So that's what I'm using right now and it seems to last quite a long time longer than you know your standard wax um so i've been using it this morning so i'm not really for sure how long it's going to last on there if it's going to last as long or longer than the nano tape yeah so um so yeah i like that so let's get started here and i think i'm going to do the eights i got a lot of eights in here so the eights are 59 and that is color 3864 which is light mocha beige. Now I'm just going to do the whole bottle because we've got quite a few in here. Okay, so 
the Ellie update. So last Friday, as you might recall, I took her to the vet for her six month comprehensive exam and to get some of her shots that she needed, which was she needed her rabies. And what else? Let me look at her chart here. Um, uh, what did I do with her? This is hers. All right. Um, she needed her canine DAPP and her rabies. And when I took her in, they said she was running a temperature of 103.9. And they said there's something going on with her and so they did a bunch of blood work and the vet said her her um let's see what was it cuz i'm sorry i'm just kind of all over the place here um her um her liver enzyme was elevated and, and because of that, they could not give her her shots. And so she said before they could do her teeth cleaning, she was going to have to have a bile test, B-I-L-E. And well, anyway, she gave all these things that, you know, could be wrong with her liver, including cancer. So... I did not like the nurse or the vet. I thought that they were both very businesslike, were not compassionate, you know, nothing. And really did not want to spend a lot of time with me. Um, I think I dropped a drill, so... Um, but it was such a shock to me that she was running a temperature and, oh my gosh, there's something wrong with Ellie. And so from Friday until Monday, <laughs> yeah, I went to Dr. Google and... was looking up this liver stuff. Well, then I know I looked up her test results that she had Friday. <coughs> Excuse me, because that was online now. And um, it showed a trace of blood in her urine. And I mean, I was fit to be tied, to be truthful with you, all weekend. And... It was very, very stressful. And Ellie was sleeping a lot. She wasn't eating right all weekend. And I mean, I was looking for everything with her. And yeah, it was... It, it was it was not good. So yesterday her appointment was at 3:30 and now she gets super stressed. I mean hyperventilating stress um, when she has to go to the vet, 
the groomers, all that, which is why I had them clip her nails when we were at the groomers or at the vet because it's just too stressful for her to go to the groomers also. And so, um, anyway, so yesterday, oh, and plus when we went Friday, we were out in the waiting room. She went into the little room without me. I mean, she was hyper, hyper stressed. Okay. So when I was researching this, it said that these tests could come back with a dog that has high anxiety. And believe me, her, her temperature could go up because of high anxiety. So when I went in yesterday, we got there and I said, I want Ellie to go into a room. I don't want her in a waiting room. Um, I am going to be with her. I need her calm down when she sees the vet. So they put us in a room and we were in there, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. And Ellie was fine. She was wagging her tail and she was, um, you know, kissing me and just, you know, regular Ellie. And um, she was wandering around and smelling everything, and she was fine. So the nurse came in, and uh, she went over Ellie's records and all that. And she said, so you're here for a recheck on her temperature? And I said, yes. And... She says, well, the vet asked me if you would feel comfortable holding on to Ellie while I take her temperature. And I almost burst out crying because it was like, you know, we're in a room. She settled. Yes, I do want to be with her. That has been my whole concern because since COVID, they take your pet back into their little room and put them in, you know, a cage, which she's not used to because she has never been a caged animal. And, you know, it's just completely foreign to her. And, I mean, she's a good dog and everything, you know, she lets them do whatever, but she's just, you know, hyperventilating. And I said, oh, yes, I said, that's the way I prefer it. So... Um, before she did anything, she got down on Ellie's level and was just talking to her and let Ellie sniff at her. She wasn't being aggressive with Ellie, you know, at all. And, and then Ellie started, you know, kissing her hand. Ellie was warming up to her and... So she says, okay, she says, well, let's lay Ellie down. So Ellie laid down and I was at the front end of Ellie and, you know, giving her belly rubs, which she loved. That's why I call her Ellie Belly. And uh, she gave her a temperature. Ellie didn't flinch, nothing. She just laid there, um, you know, kissing my hand and. Um, so she said, oh, her temperature is 102.4, which is normal. That's what her, you know, a normal dog's temperature is going to be. So she said, um, okay. She says, now let's take Ellie back. And the vet just wants to look at her. And so... We, um, Ellie followed me back to the little room, went right in with the nurse, and it wasn't like, oh, a few minutes, and they came back out with the vet. 
we went back into the little room and the, that brought up on our little computer Ellie's chart and then she started talking to Ellie and she just put her hand down Ellie went up and sniffed her hand and licked it and then the nurse and the doctor both got down to Ellie's level and um, kind of away from Ellie and Ellie went over and you know was sniffing at him and then pretty soon yep Ellie got her liquor license out and started giving them kisses on their face and you know she was perfectly relaxed and well not perfectly but you know she wasn't high anxiety level and the vet that she saw yesterday is not the vet she saw on Friday and the vet said that they would go ahead and give her her shots yesterday and I don't know to make a long story short I said told the nurse or the doctor that it's been a very stressful three days you know basically I had Ellie on her death door and ready you know to put her in her coffin um, I thought there was something really bad wrong with her <sighs> so she said that she had looked up Ellie's history and since 2020 during COVID when we they started not being able to have the dogs in the room they just would drop off and you drop them off for hours and that's when Ellie's temperature started being elevated and she said that's a stressful animal and she said, I look back on Ellie's records and she said, um, 103.9 is rather high in a dog and it would <coughs> be alert, but, um, you know, something for somebody to be concerned about. Now, I said, did she need all that blood work at the tune of $300 out of my pocket? And she said, that is a vet call. She said, I am not going to throw that vet underneath the bus. Um, and I understand that. Um, and I said... Well, at the end of, towards the end of the visit, and I'll tell you more, but um, at the end, I said, because Ellie and I really like that vet, I said, could you be Ellie's vet? Because her old vet's not there anymore. And uh, she said, yes. She said, but I have to tell you, I am only here on Mondays and Tuesdays and Banfield is moving out of PetSmart and they're going to be in their own building now. And so um, she said, if you don't mind, Ellie, just having visits on Monday and Tuesdays, you know, that's fine. And I said, I do not want to see the vet, she will not see the vet that she saw last time. And she, and apparently that vet's not there anymore. She was just a substitute vet. And we've had that happen before. Substitute vets, no. So, but 
the moral of the story, if that vet would have looked back on Ellie's chart notes and she just had all that um, blood work done, but and I told her that, and she goes, well, blood work can change the that she saw Friday said, well, you can't go buy her blood work in November, um, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so, and so then I said, well, I noticed that the blood work showed she had a little bit of blood in her urine. And she goes, oh, she said, that is just a very, very, very small amount. And that is from how they take the urine out. And because uh, they take a needle in there and a little bit of blood goes in there. She goes, that's all that is. And we had, we were in there, I would say an hour with the vet. And she acted like she had all the time in the world to sit and answer all my questions and talk about Ellie. And the nurse was in there the whole time. And then um, when it was time to give Ellie her shots, she said, um, okay, well, we need to get Ellie her shots and Ellie was kind of in the corner laying down just kind of snoozing and <laughs> so she says can we get her out to give her her shots and I said okay let me stand up and walk because I said she'll stay right with me and which she did she got up and uh, so Ellie got her two shots and she got a new trinket for her necklace for the rabies and um let's see oh and then I said oh she asked about Ellie's hips and stuff from last November um and so she checked Ellie over on all that and you know she definitely has arthritis um, so anyway, uh, she, um, gave me some treatment plans for Ellie and she says, it's nothing that I have to make a snap decision on. It's very expensive. And here she is with her secret message. She heard me talking about her. Yeah, you did. Yeah, that's my girl. Yeah. <coughs> so, um, but Ellie didn't eat yesterday. And I was talking to the vet about that. Well, you know, Ellie and I are joined at the hip. And it's very possible she could detect my anxiety. And in case you didn't know, Ellie knows exactly what I am going to do. She, she detects everything. She is so smart with me. She knows what's going on. Uh, <laughs> So anyway, um, yeah, and the vet didn't say really anything about her. The report she came back is that Ellie's fine in weight. Can she lose a few pounds? Yes. But she said, you know, she recommended taking her on walks, um, 30 minute walks, three hours a day or three hours a day, um, three times a day which we had already had in the game plan. So we went on two walks yesterday. And um, and she said, you know, it's just a stroll. She doesn't have to be out running and jumping and all that. She gets enough running and jumping because I was telling her how Ellie chases after the trucks and all that in the yard. And she goes, that's fine. 
Um, she says, we want them to have exercise to keep the mobility going. You know, they shouldn't be, um, you know, laying around doing nothing. And, and I take Ellie out a lot. Um, I let her go outside, but I have to be out there with her because she, number one, likes to eat dirt clods. Number two, grass. And she doesn't actually eat grass. She likes to lick the dew off of the grass and the plants and stuff, which is not good. But anyway, I have to watch her and tell her not to do that. Um, and the bees. So when she's out, I'm out. I have to be, you know, an eagle eye with her. And so... Yeah, it's, Ellie, it, we support each other. I mean, we are joined at the hip. Um, so, anyway, um, we had a very, very good visit. I came back so relieved. Um... But the doctor, oh, and the doctor said those liver le um, levels, it was so minor that she said she wasn't concerned about it. Is it something they're going to keep an eye on? Well, of course. Um, but she said, I see dogs in here with super high. And she goes, this... It could be any number of things of why it was slightly elevated. She doesn't want me right now to be, you know, concerned about it. Nothing different to do um, other than, you know, she, we're not doing people food anymore because that could elevate it. So, um, but she does want Ellie to have fish oil that helps with um, arthritis so I need to buy some of that <clears throat> so yeah I'm going to be doing that and adding that to her diet um, right now she is on the Cosequin. Um, there's some other things that the doctor, um, you know, recommended. Some are very expensive, like over a hundred dollars a month. But I'm just going to keep her on the Cosequin right now and put her on the fish oil. See how she does, and then we can revisit it you know, at her next visit. So, um, anyway, this, I asked this new vet, um, does she do the teeth cleaning? And she says, oh yes, I'd be more than happy to do that. She says, that's nothing. So we have scheduled her teeth cleaning for, Um, for June, but I got to call the vet's office because I need to know more than likely they are going to recommend full x-rays for Ellie this time. And I forgot to ask the vet about that. So, um, but she's not in today. She's not in until next Monday, but <coughs> um, right now she's um, she was only working Monday. So, um, yeah. So, sigh of relief. That was a long story, wasn't it? Um, so, we came home and I was happy, happy, happy. So, Ellie and I, we really had a relaxing evening when we got home. And I sat down, had my dinner, and told Ellie, she was right there, 
I said, nope, no people food, girl. You got your food over there that you have to eat. And so she went over to her bowl of food and gulped it down. So um, then she was done eating. I was done eating. <coughs> um, excuse me. Let me get some coffee. Mm. That hit the spot. And she came up and she sat on the couch with me. She put her head on my lap and we watched TV and cuddled and she was super relaxed. And then um, I think we were both exhausted. So about 7.30, <coughs> I said, let's just go to bed. And so... We did, and boy, yeah, she was cuddly. So she got underneath the blankets, and she cuddled up next to me. I didn't even read. We were just cuddled, relaxed, and fell asleep. And we slept, or I did, until 3.30 this morning. And we went to bed about 7 or 30. And... I have not had a good night's sleep. Um, yeah, so. And she was still snoring away. She was just so relaxed. And so then I got up, started the coffee and stuff. And then she got up and I said, you have to go potty. And she went out. She just went out, went potty. And, um. Yeah, then she laid back down. And let me check and see if she's eaten this morning. Uh, I just put the food out before I started this. So she's been eating a little bit later in the mornings, um, which is fine. So, okay, so I'm out of this color. Double check what the number was on that. Three eight six four, and I don't think I have any in here that are open. Nope, we get to open up a bag. All right, three eight. Oh, right here. Three eight six four. I'm gonna double check on that. Yep. Okay, I need my scissors. So, yeah, so now I am happy, happy, happy. That my Ellie girl is good. So, today we are um, while this is uploading, we're going to go out for a little stroll. And then yeah, I need to go uh, get some fish oil. I might just order that on Amazon. Um, in fact, I think that's what I'll do. And then I want to run up to the dollar store quick here in West Salem because V showed something on our live that I want to see if my dollar store has. And so I'm going to do that this morning and then this afternoon. Um, I'm going to mow because the grass is getting long and it's been a week since I mowed so it really needs it. And then Ellie and I will take a stroll and then I think we're going to do an evening stroll. 
So I would like to do, start doing a sunrise stroll, an afternoon stroll, and then a sunset stroll. So that is our plan of action. So that's what I got going today. So it's going to be kind of busy today. Um, don't want to do too much because she did get two shots yesterday and she could be a little bit sore. So don't want to overdo. And plus we don't want to overdo with her, her strolls. Um, we'll probably start with 15 minutes each time so so yeah so at least that part is done <laughs> Okay, so how long have I been on here? Well, about 46 minutes. And anything else happen? I don't... That was enough, huh? That was enough for one day. So maybe I'll start doing uh, strolls with Ellie. Strolls with Ellie blog. They won't be very exciting, but maybe we'll capture the sunrise in the video or the sunset um, or whatever is going on outside. And unfortunately, all you're going to get is the same scenery here because she will not go walking at parks. She will not get out of the car. She'll just get stressed out. It is not fun for her. She likes being in her little bubble. So we'll just uh, stroll with Ellie and talk about whatever. Or just enjoy the scenery of the same old stuff of where I live, <laughs> which is very beautiful out here. Um, yeah, I just, I'm very blessed to live where I do. Um, so, yeah. Alrighty, so I am going to let you go. And I am, like I said, I'll let this upload. I'll take her for a quick walk. And uh, let's see, what else? Um, yeah, so I really appreciate everybody stopping by and listening to me chit chat. And I hope to talk with you really soon again. Well, I will. Never know. I might do a stroll with Ellie today. <laughs> January, get that tea ready. <laughs> All right. I will chat with you later. Thanks for stopping by.